Hi there, how's it going? Um, look, I just wanted to um, bring something up which I think might be helpful to people. Um, many of us know someone who is thinking of getting the vaccine, was not sure, um, on the fence, or you know, they're conflicted over it or whatever. Um, I just wanted to point out this graphic which has been going around a fair bit, you may be aware of it, and I think the issue that I'm about to mention is something that many people already know about but um, also there'll be many people that don't. So as is always the case with these sorts of things, so people will come across it and go, oh, I didn't know that. So let me just read it. It's just a, a little screenshot of someone's phone from Missouri, from the Department of Health in Missouri. Uh, and it uh, describes in point number nine here what a fully vaccinated person is supposed to be. And I'll just read it. Fully vaccinated person, in quotes, means a person who 14 days prior received a second dose of a two dose series or 14 days prior received one dose of a single dose vaccine. A person who's not fully vaccinated until this time period of 14 days from the last date of the required dose has lapsed. Additionally, after three months from the last dose, a person is no longer considered to be a fully vaccinated person. Okay, so the issue is that, you know, as, as immunity wanes and wears off, boosters are going to be needed. But um, I think that this is, and I've heard it's three months, maybe nine months, six months, different numbers are being bandied around, but the principle remains the same. And that is that it is extremely unlikely, extremely unlikely, uh, almost to the point of not non-existent, that people are going to have two shots and get their lives back. But this is what they're being sold. Right, so I think if you're talking to someone that's a relative, a friend, or someone that's sort of conflicted over it, or they're thinking about having it, or they're going to have it, I think just as a humanitarian thing, I think you know, for fully informed consent, which is, you know, it's a it's a guideline that rules all civilization in in or should, or it does, you know, um, that, uh, that you know, it's fine for them to to say yes, I want this, but I know what I'm I know what I'm agreeing to, you know. Now, I, I never would say to anyone, do not have this vaccine, and no one should say that. There's there's many many of us um, who, who maybe think you should never have it. There's many of us who maybe think that everyone should have it, right? However, you know, the people that think you shouldn't have it would be entirely hypocritical if they turn around to someone else and then take that choice away from them and say, no, you shouldn't have it, don't have it, don't have it. You know, you, you've got to be fair. You've got to say you're an adult. Well, children are a different story. We won't talk about that. But you're an adult. You can take it. You can do what you want. It's your body, your life, your choice. Right? We all know that. Anyone with a brain knows that. Right? So, but when they're making that choice, they need to know what choice they're making. Okay? So I think the most pressing issue and the most important thing and the most valuable thing you can offer someone at the moment if you're trying to counsel them and, and give them some support in this very difficult time is to remind them that it's not going to be just two doses. The booster shot will come, their precious little passport will go turn from green to red, they suddenly won't be able to go dancing, go to the bar, whatever, they'll be considered unvaccinated. Right? I mean, in this instance here, it's even more concerning because they say that uh, the dose itself right, to start, right, but you're not considered um, fully vaccinated until 14 days have, have passed. So that's two weeks, right? But it, the three months that it covers ends, uh, sorry, starts from the actual dose itself. So in, in, actual, in actuality, you're only getting 2.5 months coverage under this scheme from Missouri, not three, 2.5, because it doesn't, doesn't kick in until two weeks after you've had it, when it's supposed to be producing all the antibodies, but it ends three months after the actual dose. So you're getting three months, but you're actually losing two from the start. So you're getting 2.5 months, okay, only. Now this is gonna happen again and again. And people are being sold on the fact that, you know, when you're fully vaccinated, you can do this, you can go to a bar. When you're fully vaccinated, you'll get your life back. People say, I just wanna be fully vaxxed. I think everyone should be fully vaxxed and we can all be free again. Fully vaxxed, fully vaxxed, fully vaxxed, right? But that's all well and good, but the government's going to change what fully vaxxed means. Fully vaxxed will only be, mean that you're covered for however long they say you are. And once you start taking these, you're going to have to take boosters to keep your main, maintain your status. So my basic point here is pretty simple, and I think it's very helpful to people if you want to give them some guidance. 
to make an informed choice that they will be comfortable with, knowing that they're not cheated, because a lot of people are going to be irate and cheated thinking they're only signing up for one thing and finding out it's completely something else and they'll feel like they've done it for nothing. If they say, oh, I was happy to do two, but I don't want to do six or seven, no way. I mean, everyone's got a line they, want, they won't cross. And at some point people will go, I mean, I know I'm looking at myself, if I was in that situation, that's how I know. I'd say like, I feel cheated. All those shots I had before were for nothing. Is that the case? They're all for nothing because now I'm unvaccinated again and I don't have my life back. I don't think many people really understand this. Um, so, well, yeah, a lot of us do, but a lot of people don't know this. They think they're getting into one, one shot, two shots, and that's it, right? That's not the case. So just remind them in a gentle, polite, nice way. So look, do you, do you do understand that it's, it's actually a subscription type deal. It's not a one-time purchase. Um, I'm calling it the Hotel California plan because you can check out, but you can never leave. But, uh, that's just my dry humor, but, um, yeah, it's it's a subscription thing. They're going to have to con constantly go back again and again and again for boosters and boosters and boosters. And if they know that, they may decide they don't want to. I spoke to one guy on Twitter um, a couple of days ago. I said, do you, do you realize this? And he said, I would have it anyway. I mean, I don't know if he was just saying that, but he said, I'd have it every three months. I don't care. And there will be people around that feel that way. That's fine. Let them, you know, that's good. They're adults. They can make their own make their own choices, but they need the information to make those choices. So um, that's basically all I wanted to say. Is I think it's really important to point this out. And if someone is thinking, someone that you know is thinking of having the vaccine, just remind them, um, just gently and politely, that um, it's not just one vaccine. It'll be boosters, and they will go on and on and on. And is that something they're comfortable with? And if they do have a, a point where they reach where they're not comfortable with it anymore, how will they react to that? Will they feel cheated? Will they feel angry? Will they be able to handle that? Will they be conflicted? If they were conflicted the first time, will they be conflicted every time? Is that sort of something that's never going to go away? That gives them a focus to think about the reality of what they're actually saying yes to. I think that's really important. And that's all I wanted to say. All right, cheers. See you later.